best playoff atmosphere sports wise? Which sport has the best playoff atmosphere? Michael, I already know that you're not getting the top pick for dudes of the week, so I'll start with you. Um, I'll tell you what. I would say, as somebody who loves baseball, I would say baseball. However, I was at the Ohio State Georgia game last year in uh, the semifinal. I would do anything to go to that like game every year. It was so fun. I was in the bleeds. Semifinal? Yeah, I was you in the bleeds. the bleeds. Yeah, it was so fun. Dylan, I think I know where this is going. Yeah, Game Seven MSG oh. Rangers win. Well, what do you mean? I, oh, I was actually in the building. It was I meant, electric. I meant like just the sport, hockey. So hockey, Stanley yeah. Cup playoff hockey. All right, Nick. Yeah, I was gonna say Stanley Cup hockey too, but I've been to a few World Series games, and that is, I was in a World Series game where I thought the upper deck was gonna collapse at Yankee Stadium on us. Like, so it's you can get pretty electric there too. So, 90s. Love that. Um, I was baseball, too. I'm big-time baseball. <laughs> Nick, you said woogie, woogie, woogie. I got to pepper you a little bit. I'm baseball, I'm sorry. too. Every, everybody knows that one. Come on. John Dunn. Uh, Michael, g- give, me, give me a couple of reasons why it's, why it's football. Well, so, it's one, it's the last thing that was in my head, and now that I'm thinking about it, I was literally outside the stadium when Rajay Davis hit the, the tying home run when we played the Cubs, and... I have actually I've never felt that good in my life. It immediately yeah. turned into despair because Ben Zobris yeah. hit one down the line and we lost. But when he hit that fucking home run, oh my god! Yeah, I, mean, I think baseball uh, baseball is great. I do love this about football. Was the band in the uh, in the house for college football? Um. Yes. So both. Yeah. Both. Like we got to do, got to see like Scripto. I'm I'm pretty sure. I honestly. I, I just mean in the stands. If they're playing yeah, yeah, in the stands. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They were there. They were the there. Um, Dylan, hockey obviously is an easy choice. What's, what's Why your is reason? it easy? And I, th- I think it's like kind of the most – I even said it, what, two episodes ago. I was like, yeah, hockey playoffs are great. I don't even know if I could tell you why, but they're great. It's because the players give literally like 500% and are just true. limping around at the point and – in terms of like, I think it's also a lot of these sports that you guys are talking about. There's a lot of pause. Yeah, I was going just gonna say in between them where there's free flowing action the entire time. Exactly, like the sport we talk Ooh. about. Uh, but there's, I, there's, but but there's, what did I segue you? No, into I love. Perfectly? Yeah, I love when you you put me right to my point that I was gonna make. <laughs> but keep going. Because it's well, because it's free flowing, and then also. It sounds louder when you're in these outdoor stadiums because they fit like seventy thousand people or whatever it is. We're like. There's 18,000 people. It's as intimate as a big arena can be. And if only because, like, it wasn't the Stanley Cup, but it was game seven of the playoffs, and, like, the game went into overtime, and, like, I, a place has never been rocking more when the game winning goal went in. Like, it was, like, give four. It so, was amazing. So, this is what I'll say. Like, I do agree. Hockey playoffs are known for people playing without teeth, without tendons, without being able to move their legs, basically, whatever. Um, eight seeds beat one seeds. I feel like a decent amount of times there's upsets always. I think that's great. What you just said though, is like, I was thinking about this all day cause I knew he was going to ask you. So that's the advantage of hosting this shit. But, uh, baseball is incredible because of the pauses. I think, I think it's like, it's the dramatic effect that there's a, it, it's almost like you're holding your breath to see what's going to happen next. Whereas like hockey's so helter skelter that it's like, you have no control of what's going on. You don't have control in baseball either. But I think it also allows for so many little things to be part of the narrative. Again, I've been watching so many of the Phillies games. Like, dancing on my own, being part of this, because it's part of their song now, I think is incredible. You probably get some of that with hockey. Uh, what you call it's A-OK walk-up song. Like, you don't get that with other sports. There's individuality, I think, in baseball. Nick, I, you can piggyback off of that since you picked baseball too. I was just going to say that the you're literally hanging on every single pitch. Like, I mean, I've been watching playoff games and on even on the couch, and I've gr- like, oh, like, I mean, everything, like every pitch, play, whatever, you're grunting because that game, it can literally turn on a dime. Um, 
and possession is not always you can't always win possession to be on offense. So you got to be focused in one way. So you can't control it as much. So, um, but I agree with Dylan. I mean, playoff hockey is pretty damn exciting. I mean, overtime hockey is pretty damn exciting too. No, overtime hockey makes you want to throw up. It's yeah. the most. <laughs> yeah, but you want to throw up thing, all yeah. the time during a baseball game. You think so? No, yes, I normally true. fall asleep. Hundred hey, percent. 